are covering the beauty basics, making your morning beauty routine just a little bit easier. Hopefully, that's the goal. And today, it's all about the blush. Beauty Snoop Megan Moore says blush does so much more than just add a healthy glow to your face, yet so many women turn it into a makeup mistake rather than a beauty benefit. So the big beauty question, where do we go wrong? Um, you may be applying it wrong for your particular face shape. That's the first thing. You might not be using the, the right tool as well. So we're going to talk about both of those things today. Now, okay, talk to me about the tool idea because a lot of people say if I have the right product, I can pull it off, but you believe the tool makes all the difference. It does. The application is huge with this. It's crucial to make sure you don't end up looking a little bit silly because blush can easily go over the line. Clownish. And go silly quickly. So you got to be making sure that you're using the right tool and, you, and applying it in the right place so that you don't look like a clown. You've got four different techniques for us. This first one you're calling the classic technique. Fair to say that can work on most face shapes? Yep, absolutely. It's classic. It's the one that most women have used in the past. So basically, you're just going to apply like an oval shape of the color right on the cheekbone, a little bit further back. So not on the apples of the cheek. We're talking about the highest point of the cheekbone. So is this where we here. do the, the little fish face and try to find our line? Exactly, yep. Suck it in a little bit and find that cheekbone, and you're going to apply just a, a nice oval of that color right on the top of the cheekbone. And for this technique, I recommend using a loose domed brush for this one. Uh -huh. So it's light, is really loose and kind of fluffy. So it's going to apply the, the color very softly and it's going to blend really well. So for these typical ones, you can actually use some really bright colors for this. And this is my favorite personal technique. So you can go with something that's a little bit more bright and poppy because it's farther back on the face. Okay. And then you're going to blend it really nicely with a soft domed brush like this one. This is by Real Techniques. And so is it fair to say the key with this technique is to be able to blend it really, really well and work it into the skin? Absolutely. With any of these techniques we're talking about, today, the key is to use a light hand. So blush is something that you're going to add on, like an embellishment is going to really pop the face. So you're going to use a really light hand when you're using it. You're not really going in there deeply with this one. This is We're not exfoliating. We're not exfoliating. <laughs> this is a really light technique and you can always build on it. So start with less and then add more color. All right. What about the woman who wants that rosy glow? When I think of rosy glow, I think of the celebrities where you see they have the perfectly placed mm -hmm. pink just right so on their cheek. Perfect. So this is exactly what you're talking about. This is that rosy apple of the cheek. So that's right in the, the, the most round part of your face when you smile. Uh -huh. And that's where you're going to find your muscles make a nice little circle right over, um, right below your eye, rather. So that's the rosy glow technique. This was a get married moment. I remember smiling to find the apple of my cheek and putting on makeup. My uh -huh. husband said, who are you smiling at? Yes. What are you doing? I know. I often look like the joker <laughs> in the mirror when I'm making faces to yeah. find the muscles. But it really makes a difference. It helps that muscle come out so you can find it. And for this technique, you're going to apply it with a stippling brush. Now, this is a more firm brush. It's a little bit more firm except that only half of the bristles come the full length up. So it's firmer towards the bottom, okay. and then it gets lighter up towards the front. And a stipple brush is used to tap the product on. So, so we're dabbing. Yep, we're dabbing and tapping instead of swirling with this one. And again, these ones are like for our kind of our really nice rosy pops of peach color here. Mm -hmm. And again, right on the apples of the face. This is great for somebody with a long face because it's going to cut it in half. It's going to draw attention to the middle. So if you've got a long, oblong face, this is going to widen it visually. And let me ask you before we move on, can you get away with some metallic sparkle and some sheen when you're working with the apple of your eye? A little bit of sparkle and sheen on this one. The next one we talk about, I'll let you get away with a little bit more sparkle. So okay. this one may be a tiny bit, but not too much. All right, we'll get to that next technique in just a minute. Megan has more tricks up her sleeve. When we come back, our Beauty Basics continues with a technique that will actually make your face look more narrow. That's right after the break. Beauty Snoop Megan Moore is back to help us with one of the most basic beauty steps of all. We're talking about blush today. You've shown us two great applications so far. This next one is one I'm seeing a lot of, and I'm going to go on record. I think it's the trickiest to pull off. It's that sculpted, highlighted, kind of chiseled cheekbone look. How can we really make that work? Yeah, so for this technique, I actually kind of recommend pairing two of them together to get that sculpted look. So the first part of it is the highlight. This one is really great for somebody, again, with a long face, an, an oblong or oval face, or somebody with a heart-shaped face. So it's going to stretch it out? Um, it's not. It's actually going to cut it in half again, and okay. it's going to draw visual interest up towards the eyes. Got it. So this one is really great to kind of highlight the eye area and the tops of the cheekbone. And to do this one, we're actually going to use a fan brush. And this is a brush that most women don't have in I their arsenal. I do not arsenal. own that. 
Yeah, this one is not super typical. They're not too expensive. This one's about $18 by It Cosmetics, but it's really, again, a loose application, very fluffy and light, so it's gonna be very soft on the cheek, uh -huh. and it's great to kind of form underneath the eyes because it is so soft. It's not gonna hurt or tug. So it's gonna just place that product on the top of the cheekbones and sweep it up towards the so temples. Am I, am I almost, can I grab this? Am I almost uh -huh. using this as an up-down effect? like? here or am I fanning it out over the cheek? Both. So Both. you can kind of place it on first, kind of place it underneath the eyes and draw it up. Okay. And then you can turn it this way to blend. Uh -huh. But because it's so soft, it's going to sculpt around that eye really, really nicely. And for this technique, this is the one where you can use a little bit of shimmer and I'm going to let you get away with it. No glitter. Okay? <laughs> okay. So we're reserving glitter for 15 and younger. Okay. If you're over 15, you can add a little shimmer. So this one's a great product here. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it and it's going to help highlight and draw the attention up to the eyes. So this one's a great, it's like an instant facelift with this, this one. This is a beautiful palette. Who's Isn't that pretty? By? That's by Mark Beauty. Oh, that's so pretty. And just the right amount of shimmer, no glitter. Yep, You perfect. heard Megan say, no glitter. No glitter. What's our final technique? Okay, so again, combining with this one, you can use the highlight and then you can follow up with the sculpt or you can do this separately. So this is our sculpting technique. It's great for somebody with a round face or a square face where we're trying to create a chiseled cheekbone. Yes. So if we don't have a lot of cheekbone, this is the technique for you. It's going to be underneath the cheek instead of on top of the cheek and again we'll suck our face in and make that little fishy face to find the cheekbones and we're going to chisel out and create a nice sculpted face with this one. So for this one we're going to use an angled brush. So the brush doesn't, it's cut on an angle and it's really going to help just find the cheekbone mm -hmm. and give you that really nice kind of cut look there. And for this one you're going to want to use a blush that has more brown in it. Almost a little bit of a bronzy blush for this one so that it gives the illusion of that shadow that we're looking for and it's going to really sculpt out those cheeks. Fun to know each of the four techniques so we can play around with it, but let me pin you down. What one do you use on a daily basis? What's kind of your everyday go-to? I personally love a poppy cheek, and so I go for the first technique, the classic kind of back higher on my cheekbones, because I love to wear like a pop of pink. But right. I couldn't put that right here, or the, otherwise that would look a little silly. So you've got to know the color and the placement to get the right look. I learned a lot today. I'm enjoying this Beauty Basics series so much. Thank you. You have more makeup ideas, product recommendations on your website. It's a great source. Absolutely. I'll have all of these products if there's something that you saw that you want to check out, go to thebeautysnoop.com. It's a great website, really an awesome resource. Megan, thank you so Thanks. much. Well, there is